we're going to imagine that we're going to sell our investment. So let's imagine that we just sell it. We could just wait till it sells. So I put it on the books at at uh, 12,000. That's the cost. I'm going to wait till we just sell it. So later on, we're just going to say, okay, I'm going to sell it for whatever I can now. And imagine that we got when we sold it uh, 12,250. So if I got 12,250 and I bought it for 12,000, it went up by 250. So what am I going to do? The cash account has to go up with a deposit form, let's say, by the by the 12,250. This needs to go down to zero by 12,000 and the other side needs to go on the income statement. Now, this is another transaction that we don't expect to happen all the time. So if I go to the first tab and I hit like the plus button, there's not really a, a form that's directly related to recording the changes in the value of an investment, right? Because it's not a day-to-day -day transaction. It's like an adjusting entry. So then the question I would usually go through is, is cash affected? In this case, it is. Cash is going up. So I would use a deposit form. If cash wasn't affected and you were just recording, say, a gain to the value of the stock, you can then, and you were just saying increase to the stock value, the other side's going to unrealized gain, then you would have to use a journal entry, which you could enter a journal entry by using the registers, meaning you could go into the chart of accounts on the left-hand side and the accounting, and you could then go into the chart of accounts, close up the boogie, and by the way, if you're in the business view, by the way, the chart of accounts is under the bookkeeping, under the bookkeeping, and then the chart of accounts right there. And then you have to hit that thing in the sample thing to see it. Okay, and then you could go into the chart of accounts and you could go into the investment account and use the register and then, and then enter a journal entry, you know, basically this way in the register. So we're gonna go into, a deposit so i'm gonna hit the plus <clears throat> deposit form my throat's a little messed up here that's okay i have coffee coffee fixes fixes stuff so i'm gonna say this is from 0202 22 uh not 22 23 23 we're working in now get up to date man you're living in the past this is gonna be short term i'm gonna say deposit form this is going to be short-term investment has to go down so we might want to put a description but i'm not going to put one here probably would be good and i'm just going to put the amount of twelve thousand, and then the other side i'm going to have to make an account for it's going to be gains uh, on sale of investment so i probably don't have an account in here for that most likely in in, in the myriad of accounts that they gave me. So I'm just gonna make a new one. I'm gonna add it. I'm gonna make it not an income account, but rather an other income, other income. So it'll be at the bottom of the income statement. And then you got dividends, other interest. I'll just call it other investment income. And then I'm gonna call it other income. No, I'm gonna call it gains on sale of investment. Something like that, maybe an S investments no description i'll keep it there save it and close it what's this gonna do increase the checking account because it's a deposit by the full amount or hold on a sec i need a dollar amount here don't get ahead of, you're getting ahead of yourself so it's going to increase the checking account by the 12,250 the other side's going to decrease short-term investment down to zero and the gains then will be on the income statement of 250 at the bottom of the income statement that's what should happen Let's see if that's what does happen. So let's record it. Go back to the tab to the right. Run it. Go into the check-in. We're going to check out the check-in once again. We're always checking out the check-in. There's the deposit right there. So the check-in is so interesting. That's why we check it out all the time. And then the other side is on uh the the loan went down or the investments down to zero because we no longer have it we cashed it in to buy more stuff because we're going to make more money uh selling guitars than we ever would from the dividends and interest we're going to be billionaires with our business and then on the tab to the right i'm going to run it again and then down below we've got then the interest and the gains are down here so notice 
now we get, why would we do that? Because I could have put the gain up here, but we don't typically do that because that's not part of our normal operations and we haven't realized the gain. So we're gonna say, hey, look, this is the gains from actual operations that we can count on in the future. And then these are gains from investments, stuff that we don't, isn't really part of our business, but we just put some money in the investments and we got a gain. So we put it down here. Don't expect that to happen again in the future. That's not part of our business model or anything, but hey, we'll take it if it comes. And so that's, that's how it works.